to subscribe! Let's take a look at Trusty Poby's Day. Open the curtains. Open the windows. Press the alarm clock. Pull off the blanket. Tickle your friend. Oh. 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 Good morning. Wash the face with water. Ooh. Put soap on the face. Wash the face with water. Dry the face with a towel. <laughs> Feed your friend. Cucumber kimchi Grilled croaker Stir-fried mushrooms Bean paste soup Ah, oh, I'm full Put toothpaste on the toothbrush Brush the teeth from side to side. Rinse the mouth. Yahoo! Put your friend on the toilet. I need to poop. Help your friend poop. Yung cha cha. Wow, they pooped. Ah, I feel better now. <laughs> Push the lever. And flush the toilet. Poby is fast asleep. Great job today, Poby! Yum, yum! Something smells very good here. It looks like Rupi is baking bread for his friends. Huh? The bread that used to be on the table is gone. Where did my bread go? What happened? <coughs> A little later, Bororo and his friends came over. Rupi was sad because he didn't have any bread to give.
When Bororo heard the story, don't worry, Rupee. I will help you find the bread thief. <laughs> Toby's stomach is bulged out. Looks like he has bread in his stomach. He said something, and everyone laughed. You know, Poby always had a big belly. <coughs> At that moment, Eddie showed up with an empty bread basket on his hand. There was a basket lying on the ground on the way. Friends ran over to the place Eddie talked about. Just at the moment, Turi found the mysterious footprint. They followed the footprint into a forest, and there they saw an old house. When they opened the door and went in, a seal was eating the bread. You were the bread thief. The seal didn't know what to do. After a while, the seal apologized to them with all his heart. I am sorry. I was just too hungry. I promise I won't do it again. Rupee decided to forgive him just this time. A little later, on this way back, Turi had a good idea. Turi wanted to make some bread for the poor seal. Then friends started making bread all together. Next morning, the guests came over. <laughs> Turi and his friends gave Seal the bread they made yesterday. Thank you so much. The Seal now has delicious bread and many good friends. Turi is blowing bubbles with his friends. Whose bubbles are the biggest? Whoa! Turi bubbles are the biggest. Then Pororo spoke. Let's try flying on a soap bubble. When Pororo spoke, friends climbed up to the bubble. Then the wind blew, and it blew the bubbles far away. The bubbles flew over to a flower garden that had many pretty flowers. They also gave a ride to Petty, who was watering the flowers. Wow! That looks really fun! The bubbles flew over to a forest with a lot of delicious fruit. And then they gave a ride to Rupi, who was picking fruit. Wow! I like it! The bubbles flew over to the sea, where there were high storms. Splash! Yahoo! Then they gave a ride to Poby, who was fishing. Thanks Yahoo! for the ride! <laughs> the bubbles flew over to a jungle with many strange animals. And they also gave a ride to no, Perry, no. who was bragging about her own no, singing. No. The bubbles flew over to a snow mountain where it snowed very much. And they also gave a ride to Eddie, who was skiing. Uh huh, that sounds fun! All of a sudden, dark clouds moved in. There was lightning inside the dark cloud. The bubbles couldn't run away from the dark clouds because they were too heavy. In the end, the bubbles were drawn into the dark cloud. 
When the bubbles popped, friends fell to the ground. <laughs> but everyone safely landed on the springy land. What happened? Aha! The springy land was Tong Tong. Tong Tong flew all the way here to save his friend. Yahoo! Yahoo! When friends came back home with Tong Tong's ride, they sighed deeply and talked to each other about how close it was. But soon after, they smiled and shouted together. So bubble, bubble traveling, traveling is, is really, really the best. best. On one beautiful sunny morning, Turi checked the calendar as soon as he woke up because it's Turi birthday today. Turi wanted to celebrate his birthday, so the first thing he did was to visit Pororo's place. But when Pororo and Krong saw Turi, they told him they had an important appointment and flee. So Turi headed to Eddie's place this time, but Eddie and Rody both pretended to be busy studying. So, Turi went to Poby's place this time. But Poby and Harry also said they had to go fishing and disappeared. Uh. At last, Turi went to Rupi's place. But Rupi and Petty also didn't open the doors for Turi because they were busy cooking. Turi was very sad because none of his friends wanted to play with him. So, Turi decided to go back home. At that moment, Tong Tong showed up. When Tong Tong heard his story, he smiled and started to utter a magic spell. <laughs> Yahoo! Goody, goody, tong, 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 woo! Oh, we are at Pororo's place. And all the friends have gathered. How could this happen? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. Aha! Uh -huh. To throw a surprise party, Friends acted as if they forgot his birthday. Each friend gave Turi a gift they prepared. Pororo and Krong gave him a toy, and Daddy and Rodi gave him a robot. Poby and Harry made Turi delicious fish dish, and Rupi and Petty gave Turi Pretty birthday cake. Turi blew out the candles. Then Pororo quickly lit the firecrackers. Turi was very happy that his friends didn't forget his birthday. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Yahoo! In the morning, friends at Rupi's place started talking about the dreams they had last night. I used to fly in the sky like Superman! Everyone <laughs> boasted about the fun dreams they had last night. <laughs> but Turi didn't dream last night, so Turi was jealous.
On that night, Turi lay down on his bed and thought to himself, "I want to have an amazing dream tonight." At that very moment, Turi heard a very loud sound of explosion, and a fairy that looked very much like Eddie showed up in front of him. Hello, <laughs> I am a dream fairy. Don't you want to go into your friend's dream with me? Turi held the hand fairy reached out because it seemed very fun. Pororo's dream was the first place they dropped by. Pororo was a superhero and was crushing all the thieves. Stop, you villains! Krong's dream was the second place they dropped by. Krong was a toy millionaire with over 100 toys. Krong, Krong, toy Krong. Rupee's dream was the third place they dropped by. Rupee was a beautiful princess at the Candy Empire. There also was a prince next to her. I am certainly the prettiest. Petty's dream was the fourth place they dropped by. Petty knew how to make any dish because she was the top chef. Do you want to see me cook? Poby's dream was the fifth place they dropped by. Poby caught a really big fish and became a fishing king. <laughs> Hurrah! <laughs> Harry's dream was the sixth place they dropped by. Harry was a famous singer, and she was having an amazing music concert. La la la. Eddie's dream was the last place he visited with the fairy. Eddie was awarded a Nobel Prize because he was a very smart scientist. I am truly the smartest. Although it was fun for Turi to be in his friend's dreams, Turi became more jealous of them. That's when the dream fairy spoke. You're already dreaming a dream of your own. Suddenly, the ground started to shake, and Turi fell under. What is going on? After a while, Turi woke up from his bed. It was all a dream. Turi was so relieved. Playing at Pororo's place. That's when friends came over and spoke. Let's play hide and seek together. Yeah. All of the friends started running to the playground. The last one is it. Hurry! Oh no! Turi came in last. Then Pororo spoke. Close your eyes and count to ten because you're it. <laughs> When Turi counted to ten, friends scattered and began hiding. Catch One, me if you can. Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where did Poby hide? Whoops! You got me. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where did Tong Tong hide? Uh, how did he find out? Come out, come out, wherever you are. 
Where did Harry hide? Oh no! You got me! Come out, come out wherever you are. Where did Rupee hide? Oh no! You got me! Come out, come out wherever you are. Where did Eddie hide? Oh no! You got me! Come out, come out wherever you are. Where did Bororo hide? Ah! You got me! Nice! Turi almost found everyone. But he just couldn't find Krong. Turi had a very good idea. Turi told a lie that there is delicious honey jar there. Soon after, Krong popped out and spoke. Where is the honey jar, Krong? In the end, Turi found everyone. Krong! When they heard the story of the honey jar, they were suddenly hungry. So Rupee spoke. Follow me, everyone! <laughs> After a while, friends enjoyed the food Rupee prepared. What a cool day it was today! <laughs> Early in the morning, Smarty Dr. Eddie called over Turi because he wanted to boast about the submarine he made by himself. <laughs> Turi wanted to try out Eddie's cool submarine. So Eddie spoke. All right, then I'll drive the car. The submarine that had on Turi and Eddie sailed to the middle of the ocean. And then it slowly sailed into the deep sea. Whoa! It was beautiful under the sea. There were corals, sea anemones, and pretty starfishes in shallow water. This time, the submarine came across the sea turtles. The kind turtles waved their hands for Turi. This time, the submarine came across a group of fish. The group of fish changed their formation into different shapes. This time, the submarine ran into a mother whale and a baby whale. The mother whale was very big. So it looked like a big mountain was floating in the water. This time, the submarine ran into a huge octopus. The octopus was very surprised to see the submarine. So he shot black ink at them. The submarine went deeper into the sea. And there they saw strange looking fish. There were five color jellyfish and fish that twinkled. It was at that moment when a big shark showed up. The shark thought the submarine was his food, so he started attacking. Whoa! Watch out! When frightened Eddie pushed the exit button, the top opened up, and Turi and Eddie popped out. Ah! They soared up and flew into the sky. Luckily, the two fell on the sand. But Eddie was very sad because he lost the submarine. 
No! My submarine! On the next day, Eddie began to make a stronger submarine with Turi because he wanted to go see the cool sea again. <laughs> And his friends were playing soccer. Here comes Bororo! Friends were very excited. <laughs> but all of a sudden, a lot of snowballs came down from the mountain. Friends were scared and didn't know what to do. At that moment, a huge dragon came and stopped the falling snowball. <laughs> It turned out the dragon was Tong Tong. He turned into a dragon with his magic. Friends said thanks to Tong Tong. Turi also wanted to become big and strong like Tong Tong. Thanks! <laughs> On the next day, Turi told Tong Tong that he wants to become big like him. So Tong Tong cast spell on Turi. Gori Gori Tong Tong Tong. Woo! Now all you have to do is chant. Turi was very excited. On this way back, he met Rupi. Rupi looked very tired because he was carrying a lot of stuff. Goody goody tong 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 grow! Turi made himself big and carried his stuff for him with no trouble. This time, Turi came across Dutu who fell into a pit. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't get out by himself. Goody goody tong 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 grow! made himself big again and rescued him. <laughs> Yahoo! This time, Turi came across Petty. She was sad because her roof was broken. No matter how hard she tried, she couldn't fix the roof because she was short. <laughs> goody, goody, tong, 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 grow! Turi made himself big again and helped her fix the roof with no problem. Yahoo! Right at that moment, Krong lost his cherished balloon. Turi chanted a spell and chased the balloon. Krong! My balloon! But his body became as big as the sky because chanted too much. Friends were scared because his feet were too big. That's when Tong Tong came flying and shouted. Goody goody, Tong Tong Tong, grow smaller! And Tootie's body grew small again. Friends were now relieved. <laughs> Bororo and his friends came over to Tong Tong's place to play. Because they were full of magic tools in Tong Tong's place. <laughs> yep. Turi found a strange magic stick in the box. He swayed the stick because he was curious. And something very strange happened. A beam of light came out from the magic stick. Turi as small as a bean. Pororo and his friends started to look for him. Where did he go? They had no idea he was right under their feet. All of a sudden, a raven came flying and snatched Turi. Then the raven flew out the cave.
Turik was so surprised, and he started to tickle the raven's toes. Tickle, tickle. In the end, the raven dropped Turik. And Turik fell right into an ant tunnel. Many ants were working very hard in the tunnel. When he came out from the tunnel, he saw the squirrel couple's place. The squirrel couple showed Turi how to get back to the cave. On this way to the cave, Turi found a big apple. It was just about time to eat, so he ate the apple and the caterpillar together. Turi's leg hurt because he walked too much. That's when he saw a Snow White dandelion. Turi got onto the dandelion seed and took off. Whoa! The cave finally came into his eyes. Turi wanted to go back to his friends fast. All of a sudden. The dandelion stopped. It turned out the seed was caught in a spider's web. Turi couldn't move at all because the spider's web was too sticky. <laughs> it looks like we've got fresh food. The scary spider came over. At that moment, a hand showed up and rescued Turi. It turned out that it was Pororo. He was looking for him. What happened? Pororo rushed back to Tong Tong with Turi. Goody goody Tong 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 grow. When Turi was back to his earlier days, he promised himself not to touch Tong Tong's stuff without asking. <laughs> 